Well, Canada's Senate is about to get a little bit fuller. The federal government announcing the appointment of seven new people to the Red Chamber. The appointees hail from Manitoba, Ontario and Quebec and they will sit as independents. Now, one of the new appointees is a world record holding wheelchair racer. We're talking about Chantal Petitclair, a 14 time Paralympic gold medalist and also Canada's chef de mission for the Rio Paralympic Games this summer. Well, Chantal Petitclair, as you can see, joins us now from Montreal. And I guess I have to begin by saying congratulations. Uh, <laughs> how did it feel to get that phone call, to know that you were being nominated for the Senate? Oh, that was absolutely amazing, a very magic moment. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I was just very everyday life making dinner with my, my two-year-old and the phone rings and uh, it is uh, Prime Minister Trudeau himself saying uh, hello Chantal I have uh, I have something uh, to tell you <laughs> and it's just kind of uh, a bit overwhelming and, and, and surrealist but uh, feeling very very humbled and it's such a privilege. Well a privilege but also I can imagine challenging considering yes. the, the scandals as well as the, mm -hmm. the, the criticisms being waged against the Senate against against the Senate these days. Why would you take on this responsibility, this new role? I think I, I, I was, you know, the first question I had, because I am like a, any a citizen of Canada, you know, I know the Senate, but no more, no less. And, and so it started with, with questions. What, what, what is the role? What is the job? Uh, what is expected from me? And, and one of the first questions I had, uh, being a retired athlete, having all this um, competence and expertise and leadership um, in many areas, and, and, and my biggest question was, you know, is, is this a place where I can have a real and concrete impact for all Canadians um, and uh, and the answer was yes uh, and we talked about that and we talked about being independent and and you know keeping our uh, thoughts and positions and 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 to me that was very important and, uh, and and I love a big challenge and it is it is a big challenge and a completely different area of life for me and and a lot of work ahead of me so uh, I'm looking really Really forward to this. Well, you mentioned a couple of points there, and I be want to begin first with that question. When you say, "What type of impact will I have?" What mm -hmm. impact do you ho hope to have? Is there an issue you want to bring forward? Is there something that you particularly want to do in terms of setting an example mm -hmm. as a senator? Well, I think you know, of course, uh, just general leadership in trying to renew um, the, the reputation of the Senate is one thing. You know, I think I am known as a person with great integrity and passion, uh, and really having a very positive leadership. So that's one thing. But but very concretely, of course, um, I am a, a former athlete, uh, still very very involved in the sports system, whether it's high performance or or, or grassroots and beginners and our kids. Uh, I'm also a person with a disability. I'm also a woman. So, of course, these are things where uh, of, I will want to be involved because those are, are my concerns as a citizen and, and also my expertise. But I do think and hope that I will have a, uh, I will not be afraid to get out of my comfort zone and uh, and attack and work and study on things that maybe I'm not really familiar with, but uh, that are um, as equally important to everybody in Canada. Well, you also raised the point about being uh, appointed as an independent senator. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean to you? Does, like when you're appointed generally by a liberal mm -hmm. government, the assumption mm -hmm. is that you actually support the liberal agenda. Do you support the liberal agenda as put forward by uh, Prime Minister Trudeau, or are there things that you take issue with? Uh, you know. To be honest, I haven't even gone so deep into looking at all the agenda. Uh, to me, the most important was, uh, am I going to be and stay independent? Am I going to be able to be there uh, and, and really feel like I can hold my, my priorities, my value, what is important to me, what, what I believe is important for Canadians? So to me, this was very, very important. and. Uh, and, and really, this is who I am. This is, you know, I've never been afraid to voice myself. I've, uh, whether it was in sport or or in in, in different areas or organization where I, I am very active. So so I wanted to keep that, and I was very reassured that not only was that going to be respected, but this is what this is what we want and this is what we we need in this new leadership. So so I felt very confident that um, the Senate will be a place where I can. Um, 
you know, be my own person um, and and work for Canadian and and do a, a very good job at it. So, do you then see your your primary role as as holding the government to account or helping them forward their agenda? Uh, you know, I, I think it. it it will depend on it will depend on what we will be discussing, what will be the uh, dossier that will be important at that time. I think it will be on one-to-one -one basis. You know, I, for me, anyways, it's not something. Um, there are s some great priorities and and some things that are so important to me. I'm, you know, I was reading about the work that the Senate di did on on children and o obesity in Canada, and this is something, of course, that to me goes beyond political party. You know, this is just a general uh, important issue for Canadian. And, and this is the angle that I will have with everything. You know, I want to take this, I, I've never been into politics, uh, and this is not why, the, why I'm there. You know, this was not, for me, a career plan. Uh, and, and so I, I go into that new challenge with what I believe is um, clear lucidity, but but very candid at the same time, and uh, and and just trying to bring uh, the expertise and competence in a very um, genuine way, I would say. Well, and we're running out of time, but I have to ask you, mm -hmm. you know, you, you have such a busy summer ahead of you now, because not only yes. do you have the Rio games, as a Chef de Mission, mm -hmm. as we say, uh, but also you mm -hmm. have to move to Ottawa. <laughs> What's yes. the summer going to be like for you? <laughs> uh, it's going to be busy, that's for sure, uh, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to it. I, you know, my uh, Ottawa is a city that I really enjoy uh, as, as much as Montreal. Uh, my former coach lived in Ottawa, so uh, driving to Ottawa is part of my daily life for the last 20 years, so it's okay. <laughs> well, at least you know the route well. Absolutely. <laughs> Chantal Petitclair, thank you very much for your time and congratulations on your appointment. Thanks to you. And that is Chantal Petitclair, a 14-time Paralympic gold medalist, one of seven newly appointed members to the Red Chamber.